Okay. <laughs> Hello. We obviously had um, Kimberly Crenshaw. I don't know if, how we want to split up who wants to, whoever wants to go first. <laughs> um, I guess I can start off first. Uh, she seemed like, so from my research, the research, like all the notes we had in our brochure, it just seems like she's like really impactful, so like activist with her women's rights and gender equality. And I think it's like people like her that we need more of. And I think she's just done a really great job, like making, creating awareness. And I think that relates to media as in like the way the media operates and media is like a great platform to get those ideas started and really like expose it and like show people and create more awareness. And I just thought, I don't know, but she did a really great job with some of her documents and challenging court rulings and this and that. Yeah. And going off of that, like, um, like she's still really important. Like her ideas of um, the critical race theory and intersectionality, like people are still discussing that today. And like, I was reading an article today about like Donald Trump, like, it's basically like saying like intersectionality like, you know like we should pay attention to it but it's just like it's it plays adamant to so many people for so different reasons and like depending on like your race gender sexual orientation like those all add up as ways that you can be discriminated against so that's like sort of why it's still important and why it's still going to be relevant yeah yeah um tying into like everything that's going on in society today, um, I think it's important that we have activists who are um, people of color and women and um, people in the groups that are most likely to be um, discriminated against. Um, and how she, I mean, she's written several books about um, uh, what was it? Sorry. Uh, critical race theory and the intersectionality. And um, I think that's just really fascinating that there's that much content you can write. Um, and I think we definitely need more people like her. So, yeah. Um, well, I was just going to talk about how it relates to like media studies, because obviously like gender equality and all that stuff. It, media plays a huge role in all that because it's where people can like express their opinions on it and like spread awareness and help like show their support for like what they believe in and everything and obviously the media like inspires people almost so it, it like when people like big influencers like share things it inspires other people to like take a stand and like also help support so um and like going off of that like sort of tying in like um how her personal life and experiences sort of like go in this she like she was a black woman and she went to school and like she was born in ohio and then she literally went to um cornell university got her bachelor's there and is a professor at columbia university columbia and the university of california los angeles so it's just like she knows this because she's experienced it and she's lived it. So that's sort of why, um, like how her own like ideas and like life, like life lessons have sort of tied into it because it's not like someone just writing about something that they don't know. It's something she's experienced and lived through and she's had time to reflect on it and like write so many good pieces of work about it. So, yeah. And then like just the last thing, like any challenges that you guys thought we had while doing this and learning about this and like making our brochure? Um, it's yeah, it's definitely difficult being online. Again, like I said for the last yeah. my last one was with like just communicating and like in a timely like manner. Sometimes it's like difficult to get all together because everyone's got such different schedules and stuff and this and that and it's like we're not like there physically in class. Sometimes like talk to each other and like really plan it out and it's like kind of like delayed responses just because it's like through emails and this and that. So it's just a little difficult to get everything done in a timely manner sometimes. Yeah, it's also weird that we had to do this on like a Zoom call instead of like actually talking about it. But. 
I think the challenges I came across and I was kind of surprised about it was I had a hard time finding background information on her. Really? And, yeah. And I don't know if I just like wasn't looking in the right places, <laughs> but it, it was kind of upsetting because it's like if she is she's such like an important person. <laughs> why is there not more information about her? <laughs> yeah. yeah, like why, like what's going on? And yeah. so I think that's, that's really upsetting. But um, also when I finally did find information on her, it was challenging to like weed out what I shouldn't put in. Um, Cause I feel like she's just done so much that. Yeah. What you choose. <laughs> choose which important pieces should go without writing a, like a, a biography. <laughs> yeah. Yeah.